That's what we've wanted to achieve, and from there on, hopefully, the only way is upwards. Dennis Smith of Sunderland. Well, it was widely expected that Sheffield Wednesday would be reinstated in the first division. Their manager, Ron Atkinson, is in the England team hotel now in Cagliari. Good evening to you, Ron. I wonder how you're feeling evening, tonight. Nick. How are you feeling tonight about it? Uh, not very well. Um, it's another body blow for our fans who, in the last 18 months, have had to suffer the and share the traumas of the Hillsborough disaster. They've seen their team demoted from the first division with the uh, highest uh, number of points for years, which any other year would have kept them up by a goal difference that's never been uh, closer in the first division. Uh, and now, this little ray of hope they've had because of the uh, sad circumstances at Swindon, they've seen disappear uh, because they've been replaced by a side that uh, they feel has probably finished nine places below them. I mean, if we can go more deeply into your feelings, are you actually angry or just disappointed? You know full well you have to be careful what you say about uh, We always said we'd abide, abide by any decision made. We've got to abide by that decision. Um, but uh, to say I'm amazed is uh, an understatement. How you, high you, had you raised your hopes, Ron? Well, an awful lot of people within the game, uh, people whose opinions I respect, um, felt that uh, if there was anything going to be done, it should have been uh, that Sheffield Wednesday should have remained a first division side. Um, you know, when we, when we were demoted at the end of the season, you, you accept that. That's your own fault. But because of the technicalities of this situation, you felt that probably we had more, more things in our favour to keep us in the first division than maybe somebody else promoted. So in one, word, aside, in one word, Ron, did you expect to stay in the first division? In one word? I'll ask you, did, did you expect us to stay in? No, I expected uh, Swindon to win their appeal, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, but bearing that in mind, Jim. If not, I would have said, mind. if not, definitely that Sheffield Wednesday should have stayed in the first division to avoid all stupid complications that are now arisen. So in that respect, well, yes, you're quite right. I Ron, would understand yeah. that, but... Uh, Go on, Ron. But obvi obviously there is... Obviously, there was, gonna, there was never going to be a perfect answer. There was always, if, nah. we, if we'd have stayed in, there's going to be problems on we side. And, and we understand that, but... Uh, Quite honestly, I think it would have saved an awful lot of complication and would, in my opinion, have been right and just to have kept us in the first division. For the Bearing time in being, mind for, uh, the sad situation at Swindon. For the time being, Ron, stay with us, please. Thanks for talking to us. I'd just like to ask Ozzy now what, what your reaction, first of all, is to the Sunderland decision today. My very reaction is uh, that I must be a very unlucky guy. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't care, really, to be perfectly honest, who is... Uh, or who's supposed to be in the first division. Uh, I believe that we have the, the right to be there and, and for all the people in Sweden and for all the people in the country as well. We are going to fight until the, until the very last, until to the last consequence. I appreciate we have to be careful legally, but you are appealing. You have, however, admitted financial irregularities as a <coughs> club. How can you appeal? On what grounds can you appeal? We believe uh, strongly that uh, financial irregularities should be dealt financially, so that means that the punishment should be um, a financial one. In the way that the league have uh, acted, it is obvious that they are um, punishing the people that is completely and totally innocent. I always maintain that the people that have done something wrong, it should be punished. That go without saying. But in that case, they are, as uh, Jimmy have very... Very graphically. The shirt on Oz. There you go. There's the shirt. They are, they are punishing the, the wrong people. The, the people, the, the Swindon Town supporters are completely innocent. For the very nature of their job, players will move to one club to the other and so on. But uh, uh, the, the Swindon Town supporters cannot move from, say, Swindon Town. Now they are going to support, say, Arsenal, where it is. You've made your feelings very clear, Jim. Well, um, as far as I'm concerned, the league have yet made another pig's ear of the whole situation. They've complicated things. Um, Ozzy's right, it was a financial thing. It's a, it's a revenue matter. Uh, I don't see where the league should really get involved in this. And uh, I think Swindon Town rightfully should be in the first division. They earned that right on the field. And quite frankly, Nick, uh, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna talk about illegal payments, let he who is without sin cast the old first heavy brick, mate, because I tell you what, there's a few be ducking and diving now. Jim, Ozzy, for the time being, thanks very much, and thanks to Ron Atkinson.